Hi everyone, this is Dominic Daughtry, and I'm making this video because I wanted to show off the ability of uh, scripting within Bluebeam. And what scripting is, is it is programming codes uh, that allow you to do certain things uh, in everyday workflows that you do, but it's automatic, and you can uh, basically do multiple things with the click of one button. Uh, so I'm going to get right into it. What I've created here, or what I'm going to create and show you today, is uh, uh, what I've created for a submittal transmittal. And some of the standard processes that, uh, that you do on a uh, submittal transmittal is you've reviewed your, your submittal, everything's good to go, and you uh, print from Prolog the submittal transmittal, and then you have to put multiple stamps. So I'm going to do it the, the, the old-fashioned workflow, and I'm going to put my submittal review stamp right here. And what I've done is I've actually created a uh, Bluebeam stamp, and it's the standard submittal stamp. And But things that I've done to customize it is I've put uh, it so my name automatically gets put in there, the date that I do the stamp, and then also the submittal number. Usually people manually input this. I've put it so... The file name you can see right up here. Whatever the file name is, is it will for the submittal. It will put that file name here, so it gives you the, the submittal number and the name. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you also have to put the uh, date. So I'll take my date stamp right here, just like uh, you know people do every day. Put that right there. And then uh, some of the other processes that I do before I upload to Prolog and transmit to the uh, architect and design team for review is I run reduce file size. So I'll go to process and do the reduce file size, click OK. It will run the, the reduction in file size like usual, click close, and then also I will flatten all markups including the stamps and now that I've ran that you can see right here everything's flattened you can't move the markups and so that's the way it usually uh, you know happens and I don't know what that took me maybe uh, 20 30 seconds but I have the ability to do all of those in just a few seconds with the click of one mouse button and I'm going to show you how to do that so what you're going to do is you're going to go up to script and it's got a few out of the box uh, uh, you know uh, uh, standard uh, scripts that you can run but we're going to press add and we're going to create our own one and it's going to be submittal cover script and I've already created it uh, beforehand but I'm going to show you right now starting from scratch I'm going to pick a, a logo or an icon for it and uh, before we start, you know, just performing the script and writing the code, I'm going to click out of that. So now you can see that I've actually created uh, uh, the name and everything. But I want you to see this. This is the Blue Bluebeam Extreme uh, uh, Script uh, Reference Guide. And you can pull this down. I'll close it. And you can pull it down. Anybody has it. If you go up to Help, you can go to this Help fun icon right here and go Script Reference. It'll automatically pull it up. And it shows you every function or task uh, that you can do scripting to create automatic uh, functions for it. And they're all hyperlinked and, and because of the, the current script or workflow that we're doing, it's a lot of stamps. So I'm going to go uh, directly to this stamp uh, uh, description. And you can see right here, it's a stamps description, places a stamp at an active, on an active document using the specified parameters. And the different parameters include, and these are in order, uh, file name. You want the file name of the stamp. Uh, P origin, that's going to be where to place the stamp as follows. Upper left, upper right, lower left, all that stuff. Uh, and it's got the offset, so you get the stamp placed exactly where you want it. Uh, you've got your X and Y axis, and then rotation, uh, if you want it rotated. If uh, This is good if you're doing draft stamps. Uh, where it's like a watermark and you want it turned 45 degrees, you know, diagonally. Uh, scale, uh, the opacity, if you want to, uh, like I said, if you want a stamp to be opaque, uh, like a draft stamp or uh, not approved for reference only. Uh, and then you've got the blend mode. Uh, the default is normal. That's what I always do. 
uh, and then the page range. So you can actually put it a single stamp on multiple pages. If you put negative one, the stamp will be on all pages, or you can just press one, or you can input a series of numbers, uh, like right, right here, one comma two comma ten uh, dash twenty. You know, so ten, pages ten to twenty, and then you have uh, uh, locked whether you can. Uh, you decide if you want the stamp locked after you place it and it will give you uh, for every parameter it will give you like at the very end an example of a stamp script so now that we've done that and you've seen where you can find all your references let's go back to our submittal uh, our submittal uh, transmittal and I'm going to uh, just press undo so it can undo all the things that we just did uh, manually I'm going to delete these and we're going to go back to script and the script that we set up we're going to start putting in the code so we're going to go to submittal cover script and I've actually you know like I said I've already done this before so I've got everything saved right here and so I'm going to do the first stamp and that's the submittal script stamp and I'm going to place that right here and the commands that I put in is to stamp and then you do uh, parentheses and it's going to say submittal script stamp dot PDF and that's what I've saved the stamp that I put right in here so you have to put the actual name of it uh, and then I have it uh, from the upper left it's 0.3 inches off of this axis off of this uh, x-axis and then I've got 7.6 that's 7.6 from this left corner which is 0, 0 that uh, of your axis is. so it's going to be 0 0.3 off of this vertical axis right here and then it's going to be 7.6 inches down and the way you do that I'll, I'll get out of this real quick to show you how to do that so I'll pull this down and when you're right here you can see over in this corner right down here it'll give you where you're at so if I click right here you can see over here that it's showing me where I'm at so if you want to choose where you put your submittal stamp it's going to be right here and you can see I've got my access information right here and you sometimes have to play with it just to get it exact but it's, it's very simple to do so we're going to go back to here so now you can see So we've got this right here, stamps, middle script stamp. We've got from the upper left, it's 0.3 inches off of this axis, 7.6 inches off of the top axis right there. Uh, we've decided it's going to have a, a normal blend mode right here. If you click on that, all the information comes up for it. And that is going to be uh, the page we want on page one. And then if you go to true, that's going to be uh, right here specifies whether or not the stamp should be locked and we want to lock it. So I've done that. Now let's go back to the next parameter and that's going to be my date stamp. I'm going to copy that real quick. Go to the end of this line. I'm going to copy that over and that's going to be my sign and date stamp or my sign date stamp and that's date stamp .pdf. it's going to be on the lower right it's going to be 0.75 inches by 0.75 inches that's the location we've got a zero rotation we've got a, a number scale it's just going to be one full size we've got the uh, opacity uh, option one is just going to be uh, you know 100% opacity it's going to be normal blend same thing we only want it on the first page and then it's going to be uh, uh, locked and true is for lock false is for not locked so let's get out of that and then go back to here and then we've got reduced file size and the same information we want it to uh, do a medium file size reduction and then it's got a series Oh, let's pull that up. I'll grab both of them because we want to reduce the file size after we put the stamps and then flatten all markups. So we'll go back to the scripting. 
go to the very last parameter and we've got reduce file size medium 150 true 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 and I'll get out of this real quick and I'll show you what that refers to so let's go back up to this to the reference guide reduce file size and we've got reduce image level as possible values are low medium and high we're doing medium uh, image DPI that specifies the image is max DPI the default is 150 uh, drop font specifies if fonts be dropped or not the default is true uh, and we want drop miscellaneous specifies if metadata thumbnails none of that really matters on the stuff that we're doing right here uh, and then compress all streams so here's a simple file reduced uh, size high 150 true 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 and that's where we're getting that from uh, the next one will be flatten it's not much more complicated but a little bit more complicated we'll go to flatten and you have is it going to be recoverable so it specifies whether or not the process is reversible we've got p flag specifies what type of markups to flatten so the default is 8191 and these all have uh, values. So you've got image one, ellipsis two, stamps are four. I want all of mine. And at the end, it says add together all values that should be flattened. If you go to this script that I wrote, I added up all of these uh, values that you can see over here, all of these, and it equals 131071 and so that is going to be uh, it's going to flatten every markup uh, on you know whether it's stamps snapshots uh, ellipses text and call out boxes everything uh, and it's going to be negative one which is for all pages and then at the layer the last parameter is a p layer uh, name and that's layer name to flatten markups too and I, I i don't need that so i just left it blank with parentheses there so press ok and i'm going to go back to my file now that we have this uh, completed i have the ability to add this to a toolbar so I can go and I can add this over to any of these toolbars, uh, items. Uh, we can do advanced text if we want and add that right over. Press OK. And now you can see my submittal, uh, my submittal script is right there. So all I have to do is press submittal cover script and it will start processing all those immediately and you saw how quick that was it just created all these stamps put them on the plant or on the transmittal like i wanted to it reduced the file size and flattened the markups i hope you enjoyed it i hope it opened your eyes to the ability to uh, automate some of your workflows i would love to see uh, you know other people implement this on their projects and uh, some of their workflows uh, I'm really excited to hear, uh, you know, what other people come up with. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Wow, for the night, night.